Report Russian journalist Elena Kostuchenko survived a poisoning attempt and managed to escape a Chechen hit squad. But attempts on her life did not deter her from becoming one of Russia's most outspoken critics. He published his first book, I Love Russia, which he wrote while in exile abroad. Elena Kostuchenko worked for independent Russian newspaper Novaya Gazeta for 17 years including reporting from Ukraine on atrocities committed by Russian forces in the immediate aftermath of February 2022 invasion. His studies there put a target on his back, prompting him to exile himself abroad in Russia. France 24 spoke with Kostuchenko at United Nations headquarters in New York on October 24 while attending a side event on regional implications of human rights situation in Russian Federation. The event occurred same week that Mariana Katsarova, UN Special Rapporteur on Human Rights in Russian Federation, submitted her first report to Third Committee of 78th Session of General Assembly. The report alarms a pattern suppression of civil political rights in Russia including mass arbitrary detentions and persistent use torture ill treatment. You reported for Novaya Gazeta in Ukraine and then had to flee because you learned you were on the Kremlin's hit list. I reported from Odessa several cities, including Mykolaiv and Kherson, which were then occupied. After that I was going to travel to Mariupol. Mariupol was still holding out at that time. There was only one passable road from Zaporizhia. I was preparing to take this road to the city and the day before my colleague from Novaya Gazeta. He told me that his sources had orders from the pro-Kremlin Chechen leader Ramzan Kadyrov to find me. They have my information and an order not to arrest me, but to kill me. This information was confirmed by my source in Ukrainian military intelligence who said that people at Russian checkpoints had my photo and name. My editor-in-chief Murata called me and asked me to leave Ukraine as soon as possible. I spent another day trying to find another route to Mariupol. You managed to get out of Ukraine with your life. But you were targeted once again in exile. How did you discover you were poisoned? My doctors think so. The police investigation is ongoing but I have not received any results yet. I was in Germany because my newspaper, Novaya Gazeta, was closed by Russia. So I joined Medusa, another independent media outlet, and they were about to send me back to Ukraine. Needed a visa so I went to Munich to apply for one and didn't feel well on the way back. The first thing I noticed was that I was sweating a lot and the sweat smelled weird. Not like sweat but like rotten fruit. And then my head ached. And then it was difficult for me to understand. It was difficult to orient myself in space. I really couldn't figure out how to get home from the train station. The next day other symptoms followed, including extreme stomach pain, dizziness and nausea, and I.